Hey guys, so this is going to be another story time video for you guys and in this story time video in particular I am going to be talking about a nightmare that I have when I was a little kid. It's actually a really funny nightmare but at the time I didn't think that it was all that funny. It terrified me when I was younger. So I hope you guys enjoy. My parents had this big waterbed back in the 90s. I think I mentioned that in my last story time video. If you guys don't know what a waterbed is, you're probably really young, <laughs> and I apologize you never got to experience that, but um, when I was a little kid I used to sleep with my parents. Um, this was before I got my own bed and whatnot, like I was around like two or three, I was really little. And I liked to sleep in between my parents. One night uh, we were going to bed, and I think my sister had spent the night with my grandmother that night, because she used to stay the night with my grandmother like all the time. She had the door open in her room, and it was all dark in her room, and she had this little night light on, like, the outlet on the wall, so that was, like, the only light that was shining through and was coming through the crack behind the door, and that was, like, all the light you seen through the hallway because the rest of the house was pitch dark. I don't remember falling asleep, actually, and I could have drifted off to sleep. I'm pretty sure it was a nightmare. I don't think that it was real. In my dream, it felt like I was wide awake, like my eyes were open, it didn't feel like my eyes were closed. It felt like I was wide awake, it didn't feel like I was asleep. Like, you know how sometimes in nightmares, like you know it's just a nightmare. Like, you can wake yourself up from it, it's gonna be okay. But in this dream, it literally felt like I was awake and like this was actually happening. So, I don't know why, this is a really strange dream. I am not on drugs, I was a very small kid at the time. The waves from the waterbed could have set me off, I'm not exactly sure, but this was the only time I ever had an experience like this. It felt like I was wide awake, I had my eyes open, I was looking around the living room. I could see the room, I could see in the hallway in my sister's room where the door was with that little night light shining through the crack in her door. That, Like I said, that was the only light that was coming through the hallway. For some reason, my parents were like jumping around on the bed. They were like jumping around on the bed like we were playing around or they were playing with me and we were all jumping around in the bed like frogs. I'm not exactly sure what was going on but that's what we were doing at the time. I was looking through my hallway and in my sister's room, which is my room now, that is this room, this dark figure appeared behind the door and it just started merging and growing and getting bigger and bigger. All of a sudden like these three black figures came out from behind the door and they started walking through the hallway and for a little kid you have to imagine this is really scary especially since I felt like I was awake. So they came through the hallway and they got in like the doorway they walked into the room next to the bed and I finally got a good look at them they weren't black figures anymore. So they were like ginormous toucans like the toucan birds from the Fruit Loop box of cereal. The toucan birds on the Fruit Loop box aren't ginormous, but in my dream, these toucan birds were like really tall. Like they were like the size of the ceiling. Like they came in and I think they said something. I don't remember what they said, but they were like taunting me. They were like making fun of me. I was, I was scared. I was terrified. Like I was up against the wall of the waterbed, like the headboard. I was like trying to stay as far back away from them as I possibly could. And all I remember was like they they took my parents, like they grabbed them. They were screaming and yelling for me and stuff. And they took them back through the hallway and went behind my sister's door and disappeared and left me alone. And I was by myself. And that was the most terrifying dream I've ever had in my entire life. And I still have no clue why I had a dream like that. Like, it makes no sense to me. I woke up the next day and I think we had Fruit Loops. And I think I was like afraid to eat any. It, it kind of got easier after a while. I realized it was just a dream and like it wasn't scary anymore but at the time that was terrifying and I'm not exactly like I said I'm not exactly sure why I had a dream like that but I just did. Now I don't I don't understand why I had a dream like this. I was never afraid of the Fruit Loop birds. I never found them creepy or anything like that when I was a little kid but for some reason they were very terrifying in this dream. But yeah, that was my little story for this story time video for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
and please leave me a comment and tell me if you've had if you've ever had any terrifying nightmares when you were a little kid and what were they about what happened in the nightmares because i would love to know so yeah i'll see you guys next time